If you're building reports with Power BI, you know how many amazing visuals are available for us to go ahead and be able to see that data, visualize our data in real time with the pixel perfect images. However, what if you wanted to take it a step further? Well, what we're gonna look at today is how we can utilize a custom visual inside of Power BI called the Infographic Designer to take our visuals to the next level. So here we have our Power BI report. It's just a basic report here. I have some measures, I have some sales data about my customers, I have about the products, all the different locations, all that good stuff. And you can see I have a visual right here that is displaying my total sales by age breakdown. I went in, I looked at our age groups. We have under 45, 45 to 54, 55 to 64 and 65 and older, and just a bit of a breakdown on our total sales. That's visual works really great here in Power BI just to get a quick snapshot of that information. But what if we are able to see that just a little bit differently? So what I'm gonna do is introduce you to a custom visual here called the Infographic Designer. Now in order to grab this custom visual, what we're gonna to need to do is head on over to our visualizations pane here on the right hand side and select get more visuals. Now you may be working with a newer version of Power BI that has been released and will be fully general audience coming up soon. In that new uh, visualization area, that's gonna be up here at the top in the middle. I have noticed that trying to utilize this specific custom visual is a little bit more difficult in that newer feature. So I'm gonna stay here in, in the, uh, the older traditional version. We're gonna select get more visuals. And here at the app source for Power BI where we can look at our custom visuals, I'm gonna search here for info. Once I do that, you go, you'll see that the infographic designer from Microsoft is the first one that we can see here. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and grab that. And we're gonna use this custom visual. So I'm gonna select that and then choose add in order to add that into my report. And once it's there, I can hit okay. And here is my custom visual now placed inside of the visualization pane. Working with this custom visual, this infographic designer is quite easy to do and very similar to our other visuals, except we just get a little bit more of customization options that we have. So what I'm gonna do is just replicate the visual I have already, and then let's take a look at the different ways we can see that data. So for our category here, we're gonna go ahead and do our customer age breakdown. Let me make sure I get the right one, there it is. Okay, then as I go into my measure here, I'm gonna to go to the internet sales and we're gonna grab our total sales and put that into our measure. And you'll see it looks very similar right away, but this is where we can make our changes. So by selecting inside of the visual, you can see that we do have this edit mark option right here, this little pencil. If I click on that, what it provides us the opportunity opportunity here is to change the way the data is being presented. So I'll do, I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. I'll make these other ones a little bit smaller to make it easier to see. Okay. And what we're going to utilize here is the ability to change the shapes. So we do have a bar graph here. This is a column chart. What we can do is change the shape for each of them all at the very same time by selecting the shape right here. And you can see we have some of our basic shapes, some arrows and blocks. You can come in here and choose biz and tech and see the different images you have, food and drink, household items, nature, people, transport, and any uploaded image that you wanna upload yourself as well. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and choose, because we are talking about total sales, I'll choose one of our different money options here. I, I quite like the, I'll use this, the simple bills. And once I select it there, you can see, all right, it's now changed out the column chart for the dollar bills here. But we can make this even better because this doesn't look great just yet. What we can do is come here and select multiple units and turn that on. And what that does is it stacks up our units like this. So now you can see the dollar bill there, but it still looks kind of like a bar chart. You can come in here and have our unit count by row and column or by amount and column. So it's gonna give you the full title, the full list that just that shows there. I kinda like the other one better. 
You could do a row count in here, but it kind of makes it again much larger. So we're gonna keep that the way it is. You can change the units per row. In this case, I have one unit per row. If I change that to two, you can see our chart stacks with two units per row. And you can change that to if you want to four or to 10, and you can have this really adjusted with whatever visual you want there in order to see that data just a little bit more. Now, if you are working with something, maybe a percent of total as far as your measure, you can come in here and do your fill percentage and you can base it off of that as well. So you can see that's that much based on the total itself here in total sales of maximum value, just leaving a blank or you can leave it none. What you can also do is change the color of the little icons that you're using as well. So I can come in here, turn it on and you can choose one color for all of them. If you wanna make it where each individual column here are all different, you can select this area right here for our data binding, and you can choose your data binding field. Maybe I'll do it by our age breakdown groups there. And so each age group here, I can have as a different color. And then if I hit apply, you can see it just does that automatically just based on the theme colors that are currently there. But if you wanted to change them, you can change them on the fly just like that. Not bad, nice and simple to use. You can add in a background if you want to each unit to make it pop a little bit. You can keep the ratio so it does change the, uh, the, the size of the units themselves and make them a little bit more compact if you want. You can do all that stuff there. Change the fill direction if you are doing or as a varied fill there for, for that. You can change the direction. It goes from the bottom, from the top, left or right. You can add all of that in here just by changing out the format. Now what we can also do is if we want, we can add in a text field here. Say we wanted to add in our sum amounts here, so we can come up here and insert text, and we can have this as our, like, uh, our ability to, to see the actual value here. So I can change the text color if I want, the text itself and saying the word text. If you select our data binding once again, you can change that and have that to our total sales. And I can use this format and apply it. And now you can see there's the actual value themselves. I can go back in here and we can change the font size to maybe nice and big and 18. I can do a font style as italicized. I can make it bold if I want. We can choose the alignments. Maybe I want it at the top in the middle or I wanna put it at the bottom on the, uh, on the right here, right? You can just really decide how you want that to look based upon where you're putting that information. And so now if I like this and this looks good, I can go ahead and close out my little layout designer there. And now you see the side-by-side -side view between the two visuals. We have our original column chart and now we have the new column chart. Is it showing the data completely different? Not really, but it is giving us a different feel, a different look of that data than just the simple visuals that we do have pre-built here with Power BI. Now that's one example. Well, what are some of the other ways we can do this? Well. On my next page here, I'm gonna keep it pretty similar and see our total sales, and I'll add in our infographic designer. We'll use that again, that total sales as our measure here. So go ahead and grab that. And here is total sales and grab that in there. But instead of say age group, I can come in here and say, maybe I wanna choose um, gender and we'll use that instead. And so now here is your category once again. It would just have a simple column chart. But if I come in here to our edit mark area, we can change the shape here. And if I wanna change the shape here, but have it maybe different for each one, again, we're gonna choose the to data binding to turn that off. And we can base that off of our gender. And here, if I want, I can come in select for the female gender here. I can go into our people section and then choose the figure. For male, I can do choose the male figure and then hit apply. And there you have now that it's based off of that figure so it looks a little bit different. It's definitely bigger right in your face to see that exact layout. Now we can do that multiple units if we want on or off. It just makes it a little bit smaller here because we haven't chosen a single value. We can do our fill percentage based upon our total sales. And we can say the max value of one. Right, or we could just keep it the same the way here, or we can decide how we want to um, provide this, this data. Value color, do I wanna see the value color to be changed? Maybe I want one, one color and one another. And you could do it maybe by you know our stereotypical colors here if you want. Now, not quite uh, the way we have these days, but we'll just go ahead and put our stereotypical colors, blue and pink in there, and we can have our sales like that. 
So now we have our, our data that's showing like this. But what if I wanted to come in here and say, I don't really want total sales, but maybe I want to see our value as a percent of grand total. Okay, so I can show it that way. And so now if I choose percent of grand total sales, okay, you can see the data has changed just a little bit, but what we can decide here is, you know what, these values are showing kind of just pretty big like that. I can come into my layout and choose instead of inner, outer. And that's gonna change the, the, the layout of our image here. So we are having the full um, image itself if we wanna kind of go with the full scale there. And if I choose my percent of grand total there to our fill percentage to one, and now our two visuals are equally the same height. And you can see the fill percentage is now based upon our percent of grand total to show that just like this. So now we have a lot of information here to show us. If you want to put a unit background, you could put there as well. Keep the ratio. It doesn't do a whole lot here. It just kind of minimizes the image here. Um, you can really decide how you want this to be shown. Fill direction. I'm doing from bottom to top. You could do from top to bottom. You could do from left to right. And you can really decide how you want to show this data. And again, just like before, if we wanted to add in the ability to see the actual value here, we just add in the text field. We can select to turn off our data binding and then choose the text field that we want to see there. Let's go ahead and do our percent of grand total there. And then we can make this much larger again if we want. So I can have that really large, maybe go even bigger this time. I can change our font weight to bold. We can then put it, maybe I want it in the bottom here and to have that, or maybe in the middle even if I want wherever you wanna have that there. Once you're satisfied, close it out. The image does get much larger here so you can see it much better. And now you can see everything as you had before. Again, we're just taking the basic visualization ideas but adding in our very own uh, icons or images to serve as that column chart here to make it look a step further. And the great thing about this is these visuals still serve the same way. They still function the same way as far as our interactions. So if I select one on one, we have that cross filtering. If we had a, a slicer in here, we can have our cross filtering, we can have our cross highlighting between visuals. All of that is still gonna be here, just like we know very well here within Power BI. Thanks for joining me here today, taking a look at a custom visual with Power BI, the infographic designer, and how we can get right into utilizing it right away for our reports. Stay tuned for more videos coming up, and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe down below to get more content from me and all of us here at Pragmatic Works.